did you ever take the time to help a neighbor? Just don't let the good life pass you by. Well, man was made for loving, not buying. Gold can't get the things you really need. Just look my friends, there's happiness in living. Mr. Mike coming at you with another children's time message. This time it is a blustery afternoon out here. One of the beautiful parks out here in Hammond. And we are just enjoying the day out here. Yeah, you know, a member of a certain church who before had been attending services regularly stopped going. After a few weeks, the pastor decided to visit him. It was a chilly evening, kind of cold. The pastor found the man at home alone, sitting before a blazing fire. Guessing the reason for his pastor's visit, the man welcomed him, led him to a big chair near the fireplace, and waited. The pastor made himself comfortable, but said nothing. In the complete silence, he watched the play of the flames around the burning logs. After some minutes, the pastor took the fire tongs, carefully picked up a brightly burning ember, a piece of wood that's burning, and placed it to one side safely all alone. Then he sat back in his chair, still silent. The host watched all of this in quiet wonder. As one of the lone embers flame went out, there was a bit of a glow and then its fire was no more. Soon it was cold and, well, dead as a doorknob as they would say. Not a word had been spoken since the pastor came to visit. Just before the pastor was ready to leave, he picked up the cold, dead piece of wood and placed it back in the middle of the fire. Immediately, it began to glow once more with the light and warmth of the burning coals around it. As the pastor reached the door to leave, the man said, Thank you so much for your visit, and especially for the fiery sermon. I shall be back. Hmm, that's a pretty interesting story, wasn't it? You know, this kind of reminds me of three parable, parables, three parables, you know, Jesus taught. All three make up the entire chapter of Luke 15. In the parable of the lost sheep, one of the hundred sheep um, the shepherd was watching wandered away. The shepherd walked away looking for the lost sheep, leaving the 99 others behind. Once he found it, he laid the sheep on his shoulder and brought him back um, to be with the other 99 sheep. In the parable of the lost coin, a woman who has 10 silver coins lost one. It didn't run away, money can't do that. She simply forgot where she put it last. She lit a lamp and swept the whole floor, possibly several times, until she finds the coin and it's back in her possession. In the parable of the prodigal son, the man had two sons. He gave them both the money they should receive after he passes, but the um, younger one requested, you know, could I have the money now? The youngest son then leaves home, spends all of the money he had, and doesn't live quite the way his father raised him to be. He then decided to return home and beg his father to take him, not as his son, but as a servant. In all three parables, the one who was returned uh, what they thought they lost all celebrated. In the lost sheep, after the sheep wanders away to be found by the shepherd to be brought back, Jesus says, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. For the woman who found the coin she had lost, Jesus said, just so, I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. As for the prodigal son, after the older son was a little upset to learn of the celebration the father is having for the return of his son, who before chose to leave while you know the older son stayed and served his father for those many years, the father says to um, his older son, son, you are always with me and all that is mine is yours. 
it was fitting to celebrate and be glad, for this your brother was dead and is alive, for he was lost and is found. You know, we all struggle with our faith sometimes. I'm sure even Pastor Chris has his moments of doubt as certain events um, unfold in our world. If you ever find yourself too far away, whether you wandered off, got a little lost, or even chose to walk away, remember that as long as you're here on earth, breathing that breath God has given you, it is never too late to repent and come back to the one who loves you the most to be thrown back into that fire, to become a light for all the world to see. Let's pray. Lord, we understand that there are and will be problems in our lives, but please remind us of your presence when these problems seem too big to fix. We want to believe that you know best. We hope to remain patient as we search for purpose. And all the God's children say,